Oops. <laughs> oh well, whatever works. There! His muscles are still relaxing, so I guess it can't be all that bad. Lonzo? Everything okay? Yeah, Rufus, everything's fine. Not your fault. There, everyone heard. No reason to worry. Doesn't wrong number of So, how did that go again? Da, whatever. Worked this way the first time. Killbot mode! No! All humans must be exterminated! No! Ouch! What's going on? Where is Chillbot? Chillbot can't help you! That loser mode can only be activated during throttle use. Before I let you throttle me, I'll throttle you! <laughs> Boring killbot brutality level. Oh. Whoa! Oh, that's better? Now, I just have to figure out how to activate the chillbot mode. Can't be that just There are only three levers. Killbot mode! Killbot mode! Robot mode? Come in closer and warm yourself in the fire of your friendly barbecue assistant. Robot mode? Robot <laughs> <Ill> mode? <laughs> Better not come too close. What? But... Oh, man. Shouldn't this setting activate Chillbot? Well... <laughs> In theory, yes, but the throttling has given me a chronic processor malcooling. Oh, man. So all I have to do to activate Chillbot is remove the throttle limiter. That would be <laughs> very kind. Robot mode? Robot mode? <laughs> Illbot mode? <laughs> Thrillbot mode! Welcome to the sunny day. Ah, ouch! What's going on? You have a little whisper. Far more suffering will be expected on you in human life. Thrillbot mode! Mode. 
robot mode. <laughs> robot mode. <laughs> robot mode. Robot mode. Robot mode. Robot mode. Whoa, now. Can't be that good to help their own. Robot mode. That's locked in. Robot mode. Robot mode. Killbot. Killbot mode. Robot mode. Killbot. Robot. Killbot. Robot mode. Robot mode. That's a robot. Robot. Robot mode. Chill back mode. Just lean back and enjoy the cool atmosphere. Finally. Uh, thanks.
Professor Rufus presents The Miracle of Heat Exchange. Sweet! I could just pig out on looking at potatoes all day, except that I can't. Potato astronauts. <laughs> I think I still have the touch. Did I say potato astronauts? No, I meant ear protectors. Are those, by any chance, ear protectors? Wow! Thanks! You can imagine how much that fan's incessant noodling is getting on my nerves. My prophetic dreams can oracle away all they want. I will never, ever grow a mustache. Hello, Zune. Howdy, Rufus. Long time no see. <laughs> Speak for yourself. Do you know how to catch an elephant? Of course! Why do you think I've got an elephant gun back there? I thought it was to show off. Uh, that too, but elephant hunting is a great... It goes back to the days when Hannigal and Hunnigus both got the idea of riding over the Amalgalms. I thought they were only looking for fillings for tusks. Which probably didn't make the meeting of their armies any less bloody. <laughs> As you probably know, there's nothing more dangerous than an elephant with a toothache. What's all this nonsense with the lights and the barbecues? It's what they call Barbecue Thursday. I'm talking about you guys always turning off both whenever I get close. Oh, that's perfectly normal. Fire prevention measures. Don't worry about it. I wasn't planning on it. Well then. Yeah? Come on, play Rudy's dental work. Rudy! Rudy! You heard it, labs. Our fans are clamoring for Rudy. I want. A two, a one, two, three, and whatever comes after three. Let the elephant come. Corporal Tuck, you stay here and guard the entrance. Hang on. Is that a weapon? You wanted a weapon, but I'm, um, a pacifist. Uh, above all, you're an especially easy target for someone with a loaded gun and badly strained patience. A weapon with which I can guard the entrance. <laughs> Uh, about time. How thoughtful of you to dig this thing out in order to slowly pass it over to me now. But end first. He seems nervous. He's not going... I'll hold the position here, sir. Yeah, don't overdo it, okay? So... Finally rid of all your worries and fears? Well... Excellent. Then move out before our bloodthirsty ghost elephant grows fangs. <laughs> He's kidding, right? It can't be ruled out completely. So, find anything? Nothing. And there were no side turnings either. Huh, same here. Then we have obviously arrived too late. Not so fast. 
Maybe it used this ladder to get away. An elephant that can climb ladders? Oh, God, you have no imagination whatsoever. You're behind! Impossible! I've only just set the clock! Aha! So this is where that goes. Very clever. And? Any idea where that elephant... Uh gone. But now we know where its hideout is. We could go back to the past and trap it. I'm not so sure. Do we have enough time for that? Uh, time is your department. Can't we just rewind it a little bit further? Then I can build the trap right before I help you park. I can try. I think I might still have a strengthener on the bed, but it won't give us much. Not much is way more than I expected from you. Time to put on my winner face. We have a plan! What a nightmare! I dreamt of the end of the world, and then I went on an elephant hunt. Although, was that even really a dream? It seemed so real. Better safe than sorry. Maybe I should concentrate on building an elephant trap. I used that to build my rocket harpoon. Or, wait, that was only in my... Man, this is... These cryptic signs have been becoming more and more common lately, and for some reason, they always seem to crop up around me. Away with that! These things have blocked my view of the oxyhydrogen vents long enough! That's exactly what I need for my elephant trap. On the other hand, it wasn't all that useful. Pretty cool set of antlers. Tony always wants me to put the lid down on the toilet. Put it, that just makes such a mess. Ha! Bullseye! And Tony always criticizes my accuracy with the toilet seat. Not exactly the best spot for an outhouse, but when you gotta go, you gotta go. And 
You finished the elephant trap yet? <gasps> then it wasn't a dream. Of course not. Don't tell me you've only just woken up. You've had the whole day to do this. Yeah, I overslept, okay? I mean, these things happen. But I had to drive all the way from Porta Rustica again. D don't have a cow. The, the, the trap is as good as finished. The trap is set. That destructive pachyderm is about to get the surprise of his little pink life. What? Are you finished already? Did I have a choice? You've taken far too long. Yeah, but all this fuss was for one purpose and one purpose only. So that you didn't run over those glasses. And now you can all of a sudden park perfectly without my help? That? is connected to the complexities of time travel. Difficult to explain, even more difficult to understand. Ah, you had the rearview mirrors set wrong, didn't you? I'll happily drive in again if you like. Nah, forget it. Doesn't matter. And? I am not going through that again. It isn't necessary either. And now, while I go pick Tony up, Biff Buff, the trunk is off. It's gonna go horribly wrong, isn't it? And how? The trap is set. He's coming! Everyone in position! And then, just as we practice, I don't want to see any naked flames near Rufus. May Tetanus be with us. Hey, Rufus! Not now, Jacqueline. Hi there, Snuggle Bunny. <sighs> Enough talk. Let's go. Yeah, why not? What? No doubt? Uh, not today. I've just. I can hardly wait to get out of here. Come on, Titch. I still have to pack my crystal glasses and say bye to Pops. <laughs> Precisely. This time, nothing. What do you mean? Well, that's, that's nothing you need to... The main thing is, the glasses are... Yeah, much better. Well, this is gonna be one... Ah, oh, shut your pie hole. And... Oops. Oh, so Tony, no, don't let the elephant out! It's a vile monster! <sighs> Rufus, have a real close look at your elephant. Well, notice anything? Well, I noticed the fact that whoever built this trap must have been a genius. I mean about the elephant. Oh. 
Oh, uh, now I see it. It looks just like a Drexican piñata. Do you think it'll explode in a shower of candy if I hit it? Ouch! It worked! Candies all over the place! But, wait a minute. I'd know these candies anywhere. Aren't these the same ones your mom always has? That's no elephant. That's your mom. You don't say. Just don't hit me too hard, okay? Wait up. Right. I'll give you exactly one sentence. It was a case of mistaken identity? I reckoned with a, a fat pink elephant and, uh, well, look for yourself. That was your sentence? Oh, that's what I wanted to say. Tony, you forgot to break my nose! How? Broken! Cry! Laugh! Forgive! <laughs> Tony? Well, I can't help myself. I think my little faux pas was perfectly understandable. What's happened? No panic, I have everything under control. Well, it sure doesn't look like it. If anything, your girlfriend looks even angrier than before. I said I have things under control, okay? But the timeline! To hell with your stupid timeline! I'm dealing with some real problems in the real world. Got that, Dumbledolt? This is a nightmare. Forget it, Pops. Nothing you can say will make me change my mind. Oh, uh, that's what your mother said back then, too. It was the words, fresh cookies, that finally clinched it. Knocky, knocky. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Rufus. <laughs> Hello, Bernard. How bad is it this time? <laughs> oh, uh, I'd say we're on a 9.8. Make it around 10. So you are speaking with me. Then it can't be that bad after all. You have to admit, your mother does look a lot like a pink elephant. Uh, Rufus? <laughs> Perhaps you should just give her a moment? No panic. I'll take care of it. Come on, go ahead and scream at me. Then we'll have it all behind us. Rufus, you're such an idiot! But a handsome idiot that I just can't resist! <laughs> <laughs> See, handsome idiot. After all, the glasses are still intact. What? Doesn't that count for anything? Then why did I go to so much trouble to avoid breaking them? Fresh cookies? It's not working! Why isn't it working? <laughs> oh, uh, having a clue! <laughs> you got any sugar cubes on you? <laughs> oh, come on, Tony. Let's just kiss and make up, okay? What? Not even a... <laughs> okay, okay. I'm sorry. There, I said it. Happy now? You just don't get it, do you? You can't constantly burn all your bridges and then expect that everything will continue as before. At some point, it's over. And that point is now. But that's what this is all about. Everything's ready. We can finally leave for Elysium to New Horizons. This isn't a new horizon. It's the same stupid horizon as last time and the time before. And in the end, it'll just turn out to be a dead end. And that's where you're wrong. I happen to know for sure that I will make it. I've seen it, but not with you. Oh, no. I'm going to meet an Elysian woman, one who understands me. Uh, Rufus? So, surprised, aren't you? This time I'm the one breaking it off. So there, find yourself another idiot to tolerate you and your nagging. You tolerated me. Uh-oh. Precisely, but my patience is at an end. You tolerated me! Oh, Tony, uh, calm down. Ah! Oh my.
my goodness gracious, Gumbo! This is a catastrophe! R relax! Tony has always had this tendency to go for spontaneous self-combustion. Let's just turn back to time again. Or, uh, you know what? We'll just forget it. The Chrono Car! What have we done? We have irreparably changed the course of history! Calm down. Tony wouldn't have come anyway. In, in my vision, the fight went about the same, except for one or two minor details. What? <laughs> in addition, you really don't want the story to play out. Believe me. It was a pretty stupid story. Didn't even have a happy ending. But we agree that this vision could only have been a dream. Why? Because it's impossible to recall events from the future? That? Oh. Exactly. I bet all of this has happened before. My plans for getting to Elysium, the fight with Tony, and my having saved the world. You did what? Saved the world? Not yet. And the jury's still out on whether I want to do it again. Oh, my dear Aunt Dora, how could I have been so stupid? Precisely. You might want to think about your mistakes. In the meantime, I'm going to Elysium. This time, I'm not letting anyone spoil my happy ending. I hope his problems with reverse gear are limited to spatial dimension. I hope Bernard is well insured. I hope Bernard is well insured. Become death, the destroyer of worlds. About time that I finally lost that old nickname. And away we go! Elysium, here I come! What? What are you doing? Rufus, you pass found pest! You're trying to kill me?! That's plan B, but we can gladly skip a phase if you want! You wait! That's the last time you'll see Tony. I'm going to forbid her to ever meet up with you again. Go ahead. I'm done with her anyway. Just like everything else here. Now you just have to let go. Are you crazy? I'll break every bone in my body. Ha! <laughs> with all that fat? Not likely. <sighs> and now we anchor! <laughs> <laughs> Bon voyage, you harpy! <laughs> what did you say? I said <laughs> I can't hear you! The balloon is on fire, you doofus! <laughs> the balloon is on fire! <laughs> oh. Oh! Rufus! Where's he gone? Stop him! Get the torches, men! Uh-oh. They're pretty pissed off. I think it's time to make tracks. Yikes! Be not afraid, Rufus. We have common peace. Oh, really? Then why are you constantly terrorizing me? Everything must happen exactly how it happened before. Well, you can forget that. And anyway, what's with the stupid getup? We have selected our appearance to be comprehensible to human understanding. I think you should have got better advice. See, told you that this getup was a full mix idea. Only because you are constantly breaking character. We could swap. I'm certain you'd be the better elephant Krishnas. Hello. I hate to interrupt, 
but I have an urgent date with Elysium. No, that must not happen. Everything must stay exactly as it always has been. You mean as it was always was meaning to be meant. As it has always was going to be has been. Was going to be has been. <laughs> <laughs> bon voyage, Wumbo and Dumbo. Rufus, the elephant. I mean, uh, the, 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 the time traveler. It's here again. Uh, was. He had to go again. Well, then it must have left something behind. My readings are conclusive. It's as if the gate had been opened. There he is! Up ahead! Get him! The gate sounds good. I hope it has a drawbridge and murder holes on the battlements. What the heck? So, Professor Goatee can't believe his eyes, huh? Now that's what I call a time machine. And what a parking job. Just leave your protractor in your pocket until we've shaken off the lynch mob. With a heavy heart. Could that really be a time machine? At least it looks like a device you could use to make a fresh start. A new beginning, so to speak. <laughs> Wow, that looks complicated. Traveling through time is not exactly the same as changing a fuse. Ah, where we're going, we don't need fuses. You know how to turn that stuff on? Heavens no. It would theoretically take months of analysis to do that. Theoretically, maybe. But this, my temporal friend, is practical. Watch and learn. <laughs> Mr. Macroniquan, energize. What kind of energy? Plasma or exothermic? And what sort of polarity? Oh, man, you are such a party pooper. Mr. McCronic, what kind? And what's... Oh, um... Uh, that doesn't really seem to make any difference. That's Elysium! Luck's finally on my side! Now, we can only hope that this is where you set the destination and not the target for the Tachyon torpedoes. There. I got it up and running. I hope you know what you're doing. Of course I do. I'm guessing. <laughs> and now, full speed ahead! Ah! Oops, guess that was reverse. Please be careful. My motion sickness. Yeah, yeah. Relax while you hold on tight. Yeah! <laughs> that. <gasps> That's Elysium! I actually made it! According to the display, it is a future Elysium. It doesn't matter which Elysium. I don't know anyone here anyhow. Although, there was this woman in my vision. How far into the future are we? Difficult to say. One year? Two at the most? Excellent! Then her skin shouldn't have started to go all slack yet. Is that really your only worry? Of course not! At the moment, I'm kind of worried about getting a good spot by the pool. What? We can't simply... Eh. Wrong. You can't. I can. And I will. Have fun turning those knobs, loser! Come on, Mac. Do you really want to stay here? What? No! Quite the opposite. I want to get away from here as quickly as possible. We have to get back to our time before we... D d hush for a second. Do you hear that? No. I can't hear anything. Ah, what luck. I thought I heard some stupid objections designed to destroy this sublime moment. He's out to play Killjoy here, but I'm not about to let him win. <laughs> 